hemoglobin A1c is a blood test that can tell you about three things. First, if you are an established diabetic, it can tell you how the control of sugars was over past two to three months. It can tell you if you are a pre-diabetic and at a risk of developing diabetes in future. And thirdly, occasionally it can be used to diagnose diabetes itself. It's a blood test with hemoglobin, right? How does it tell you about sugar? In our blood, there are hemoglobin molecules which carry oxygen and also sugar. Depending upon how much sugar is there in the blood, that sugar starts sitting on top of hemoglobin molecules and making them heavy, sluggish and laden with sugar, glycosylated hemoglobin. Suppose there are 100 hemoglobin molecules and there is enough sugar to sit on top of 50 hemoglobin molecules. If we run a race of these 100 molecules, the 50 lighter ones will race ahead and the sluggish, heavy, glucose-laden hemoglobin molecules will stay behind. That is your hemoglobin A1c. That's the ratio. It's an internationally standardized ratio. Needless to say, higher your sugar over past two to three months, higher the number of hemoglobin uh, molecules containing sugar and higher the number of hemoglobin A1c. So what is a good number to look at? Let's only talk about type 2 diabetes and not type 1 here. If your hemoglobin A1c is between 5.7 and 6.4, you are considered a pre-diabetic. You have a risk of developing diabetes. Regarding the diabetic control, my simple rule of thumb is after the age of 65, take your age and divide it by 10. If you are 70 years old, 7 is a good hemoglobin A1c number. If you are 80, 8 is a good number. Remember, higher sugars can do damage to your body over next 5 to 10 years. But low sugars can literally kill you in next 5 to 10 minutes. So while we are controlling the sugars tightly, it is extremely important to make sure that we are not suffering from episodes of low sugar or hypoglycemia. Previously, in India, people would go to a doctor only if they were sick, which is idiotic. Now there is a lot of screening and executive health checkups. These screening tests have to be set up with extraordinary care. If you don't know what you are doing, these screening tests, if done half as early, are not only useless, but could actually be harmful to the patient. Remember the IL-6 levels being ordered by the doctors who did not even know the full form of IL-6, all those HRCTs. So who, who should do this test? If you are an established diabetic, you can technically do a hemoglobin A1c every three months, but the recommendations are you do it about twice a year. If you are a young person and thinking whether you have diabetes, could you test? The recommendations in US are you could check it once at the age of 45 and every three years after that. So if you are a normal person and you're just wondering whether you should check it, suppose you're poor, you don't have money, don't want to go to the doctor, don't want to go to the lab. I have a simple idea. Why not just assume that you are pre-diabetic and you have some risk of developing diabetes in the future. If your doctor allows it, start an exercise routine, lose weight, remove stress, smile with your friends, take blessings from your parents and teachers, have the balanced and nutritious Indian diet advised by our ancestors and be happy. Dr. Ravi Godse.